Bulger Nation, it is shoulder leg day. Um, our split is coming along nicely. This is the split I've always used to get ready for shows where I've trained multiple body parts every time I come to the gym. Sometimes it's split up into a morning and night workout. Um, but for right now, we're keeping everything into one workout and then doing cardio at a different time. But today is a, uh, it's a mass building. This is the Wednesday, this is Wednesday of, of my week. Um, I'm doing shoulders, delts, a little bit of traps in there, and then also quads. I'm also gonna throw one hamstring exercise in there. But as we'll see today, we're gonna be talking about a lot about priority principle training. And what that means is training weak areas first, training areas that you need. For my shoulders, to work it out, I love doing jump rope. It's a way to get the heart rate just through the roof. So I do about five to seven minutes of just jump roping, um, some double unders, some push-ups, and uh, I just got my hair cut. I feel like Street Fighter today, you know, like when he, when he wins and does this thing. I'm such a dork. I know I'm a tool. Don't, don't make me feel bad. Just get mentally ready. So move some weight. Today's a heavy day. It's about putting on mass always with that goal of symmetry proportion. Also, it's important, work out the rotator cuffs. My heart, already pumping. And part of knowing who you are and learning, learning how your body responds to things is trying something. If it works, keep using it. If not, you gotta uh, modify it or, or do something different. But we're just gonna keep on continuing to warm up the, the delts. And this is a workout, like I said, it's for size. We're gonna be building, building strength, gaining muscle, whereas later on in the week, we're gonna be more supersets, higher volume, more time under tension, less rest periods. That way we're uh, stimulating all the muscle fibers that we have. You'll constantly see me switching up my delt exercises. Do a little bit more jump rope. stop about right here and if you can do that and feel your medial delt you'll see that all those muscle fibers are all, all activated right there 
So getting that lean, I always keep that, that activated, that tension on the muscle. Six, seven, Now that we're a couple, a couple sets into this, one thing you want to make sure of, if you start feeling it anywhere else but that medial delt, I mean obviously you're going to feel it a little bit, but if you're not feeling it in that medial delt, you're feeling it more in that anterior or posterior, um, you got to switch something up. It's get a little bit sloppy. That trap starts taking in, gets bunched up, and you, you start pulling from there. So if you don't want to, if you want to develop a little bit bigger trap, that's fine. But you got to be careful. Good. Okay. And just take enough time today. In between sets, get a drink of water, write down your weights, and then move on. Next, next up, we go a little posterior delt. You got to get that nice round back. You know, you want to have a, a round delt. Second step, you know, again, we don't want to come, we don't want to touch at the bottom. That's taking all the tension off those rear delts. You know, there's no, no secret. There's no other way of getting around it. You just got to put in time and sweat in the gym when you come in. You know, it's not, we're not talking in here. I'm talking to you guys, but I'm not running my mouth with the other people in here. You know, I'm watching that clock. It's business time. Why? Because I have a goal. I have a goal that I've set in my mind that I gotta bring up my delts and do everything I can to get there. So as you get more, more experience in the gym, you start training off feel and you'll start knowing exactly what areas you, uh, your body is pretty much telling you to work out. But on this, this is an exercise that a lot of people uh, don't like. Um, it was used, you know, used by a lot of bodybuilders out there. I've loved it. I've done it for probably 10 years. You gotta love when you throw those those two big wheels on there on the shoulder day. You know it's a good shoulder day when you got the wheels going. On our upright row here, you want to. I rarely will ever tell you to rotate your shoulders and forward here. That's exactly what we're going to be doing on this. We're going to be rotating our shoulders in forward so they come here and as we pull up, keep the weight really close to your body and really I'm doing almost, almost a row. Boom. Hitting that post here and even a little bit of that medial delt. Hand grip here is pretty wide, almost as wide as you can go on here. So quite a bit wider than shoulders. And it'll feel light. But it's all about squeezing it. And it doesn't take much to activate that posterior and medial delt tie-in. Hey. Ah. Oh. Straight into shrugs. And I didn't bring my straps today, so we're getting an awesome forearm workout too. Oh. Ah. Six. Seven. Eight. Ah. Ah. And then jump right back in for our second round. Let's 
stronger muscle, has a bigger muscle. So today, strength training, later on in the week, more, more uh, isolation, call it hypertrophy if you want it, but just making sure it's, it's quality. Um, I'm gonna take about five minutes, and then we're jumping into legs. Now, if your legs are your weak point, do your legs first in this workout. And if you want to stay, stay real, low reps, I, I have to do a little bit higher reps, but on the, on the ride out for you guys, I'll make sure uh, to let you know the rep range you should be hitting on this. But uh, we're gonna start off with just back squats. Nothing like back squats. You can't do squats because your knees or your lower back, um, and you can't do front squats. Um, pack squats, next best thing. I don't do any cardio on this day. Um, I keep my cardio, my two days of bliss for either uh, on my chest or on my back. Doesn't matter which one. For me, like I said, I'm gonna stick high reps here. Now, if you want to do high rep training, that's that's one thing. I think you should always incorporate both styles of training. Um, but for me, I don't really need to concentrate on putting any more size. So for me, it's more about shaping. So I'm gonna be switching up my foot placement on this all the time. Five reps, warm up, and I'll count that as my first set. But I'm gonna do uh, four total sets here. The goal hit 100 reps. much glutes here so you're gonna see me stopping right at about parallel or maybe a little bit higher um, just because I'm not really looking to, to build for you girls out there go ahead and drop below all right second set we'll have to give Chad had a hard time for uh, not working out together on leg day. I always find them skipping leg day. I don't know what it is. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, also, you'll notice reps, you know, you don't bounce on squats. That's when you start hurting your knees and lower back. So as I get closer to the bottom, I slow it down, and then explode up. Down, explode up. And you know, with, with this much weight on your back, with doing it 20 times, you won't be able to really explode by the end of it. The thing about living in Boise is uh, dated his older sister in high school for a couple years. Cool family. So, Brandon Bailey, if you watch this, have a great marriage, buddy. I gotta get better uh, endurance in my legs. I know that because I could probably bench that that many times. This is where it's the gut check time. It's real easy to to walk out today. You've hard to push yourself hard with shoulders, but you got the hardest thing left. Yeah, legs. And uh, I mean, ain't nobody like legs. Doing heavy squats. You're gonna love it after you're done. You're gonna love the uh, the effects you get for. For total body growth, increased uh, you know testosterone and growth hormone, you know you'll definitely be able to sleep better at night and if you do back squats. I guarantee you that. But nobody likes doing it. Um, right now we're at about what are we at? <clears throat> we have about 70, 70 reps. Oh, we gotta get gotta get 100. So I'll probably do this and then take it off and just burn out with a set with 135. But. Legs, I gotta 
got some some areas in the legs I definitely need to improve on with shape and then just tighten them up. When you start seeing little little black areas getting fuzzy, it's you know it's when you know you're getting a good leg workout. Can't even think. Tight, tightening up right now. I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit, but. If I wasn't wearing a belt there, definitely would have, would have pulled something that lower back. All right, your legs should just be just annihilated, especially if you uh, did those high reps. I had 27 on that last one for 225, and just made me realize my legs aren't conditioned like they should be. Uh, but even if you did your, you know, your six to eight to 10 reps on there. You should be feeling your legs there. So next up, we're doing a, a leg press. If you're looking to build mass, stick to those lower reps. For me, I'm gonna be really concentrating on time under tension on this. Now what that means is slow down and slow up. And you're, you're activating those different muscle fibers, uh, more of those slow twitch. We're not exploding, we're not gonna be building muscle. Those white twitch muscle fibers, they're bigger. They're able to do more work. Um, these slower twitch muscle fibers, up real nice and slow. Again, you can change your foot placement. The wider, you go more inside. I'm gonna start off a little bit closer, work more of that sweep. You wanna push it up fast, keep finding that urge. And then immediately walk them like this. You know it's rough, but I don't want to talk to you guys. We got one more uh, exercise for legs to give us four total exercise, including those lunges. We're gonna do a just leg extension, turning the toes out of top, uh, right around 15, 15 reps. It's just gut check. If you guys have ever played a, a sport, you'll know you win or lose games in that fourth quarter. You know, sometimes you even have overtime. So, we've been going, going, going. Still our overtime right now. It's the last two minutes of the game. 
leading into overtime. Girl, you're tired, you're hot, you're not really thinking clearly, but uh, if you quit now, all that other hard work you put in is just for nothing. So don't quit, don't quit now. You'll never quit anything else in life. Just gotta keep plugging away. Oh, never been so weak on leg extensions in my life. We're gonna take 60 seconds and then jump back into them. Three sets here. And then, like I said, later on this week, we hit shoulders again. Uh, a little bit more for supersets, a little bit more volume, and then hamstring. And we'll do all hamstring exercises. Alright, if you got it, get some BCAs and yeah, some water. And then we're gonna stretch out, do a little foam rolling. It's important to do foam rolling for me, especially after leg days, because I get so much lactic acid built up there. You know, I'll be sore probably into my next quad workouts. My quads will literally be sore at least till Monday. So by help stretching those out. You get that DOMS, that delayed onset muscle soreness. Um, you know, that foam roller, that myofascial release really helps roll those muscle tangles, those muscle fibers that are all tangled up in there, helps smooth them back out, but it hurts like hell. Anyhow, good job today. Let's go, uh, go do some stretching.